July 22nd, Sanctification, Part 1. This is the will of God, your sanctification. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3. The Death Side. In sanctification, God has to deal with us on the death side as well as on the life side. Sanctification requires our coming to the place of death, but many of us spend so much time there that we become morbid. There is always a tremendous battle before sanctification is realized, something within us pushing with resentment against the demands of Christ. When the Holy Spirit begins to show us what sanctification means, the struggle starts immediately. Jesus said, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Luke 14, verse 26. In the process of sanctification, the Spirit of God will strip me down until there is nothing left but myself, and that is the place of death. Am I willing to be myself and nothing more? Am I willing to have no friends, no father, no brother, and no self-interest, simply to be ready for death? That is the condition required for sanctification. No wonder Jesus said, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Matthew 10, verse 34. This is where the battle comes, and where so many of us falter. We refuse to be identified with the death of Jesus Christ on this point. We say, but this is so strict. Surely he does not require that of me. Our Lord is strict, and He does require that of us. Am I willing to reduce myself down to simply me? Am I determined enough to strip myself of all that my friends think of me and all that I think of myself? Am I willing and determined to hand over my simple naked self to God? Once I am, He will immediately sanctify me completely, and my life will be free from being determined and persistent toward anything else except God. See 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 23-24. through 24. When I pray, Lord, show me what sanctification means for me, He will show me. It means being made one with Jesus. Sanctification is not something Jesus puts in me. It is Himself in me. See 1 Corinthians 1, verse 30.